Managers are under a lot of pressure in the workplace right now. In addition to leading a team and pushing company goals forward, employees are now expecting their managers to show up with empathy or those employees are out. This is now leading to manager burnout. So I talked to the CEO of Village, Debbie Yadigardi, for tips on how you can handle that pressure. You're talking about manager burnout. Are you seeing that a lot? We are, especially right now amidst the great reassession, the great reassessment, employees are being promoted because they're great contributors, not necessarily because they know how to manage people or lead teams. And so what we're seeing that in a time when employees are struggling more than ever, and the latest jobs report showed that there are over 2x the amount of open jobs for available employees, Managers are struggling more than ever to retain their teams. And what employees expect today is a manager who can show up empathetically to what's happening in their life events. Well, are you encouraging people, like managers to be more hands-on with their employees or and more of a, like a coaching culture? But I, I can see where that would be even harder to do and, and lead to more burnout. Today, managers absolutely have to be coaches. Think about the greatest performing sports teams. Those coaches are able to I, look at their individual team members and see them as individuals and play them to the best of their capabilities as a team to know when to play which player who's the fastest who's the strongest who can move when where mm -hmm. today's managers need to take the same approach for managing their teams they need to understand who's still struggling with child care amidst a continuing pandemic who's taking on the responsibility of elder care amidst the pandemic there is so much going on in the background of employees that affect how they show up professionally. You mentioned the great resignation. I want to ask you about that again, because I'm sure that's hard to be able to retain talent at your company when we were all kind of our, our eyes were open and we said, I want to do what's best for me in a different way. Absolutely. And actually, all the stats show that employees today prioritize their personal life way more than their professional life. Yeah. And 54% of employees have left employers because of how their manager responded to them personally. Life can throw you some curveballs. And when you have a manager who can understand and provide that flexibility, which the future of work coming out of pande the pandemic absolutely demands, then you can create that win-win. Again, it's about allowing and empowering managers to be able to see their teammates as individuals so they can best support them wherever they need assistance. For more direction on how to incorporate this into the workplace, you can actually go to village.com.